if you could only give them one piece of advice shopping this year for holiday gifts, what would that be? I would say one piece of advice, comparison shop. Don't, you know, consumers, the amount of pre-purchase search that consumers engage in is minuscule compared to what they need to do to protect their pocketbook. I'm not going to tell somebody that they should or shouldn't buy something. That's individual taste and preferences. What I will tell you to do is if you want to buy it, reward the merchant who gives you the best value, the, the, the lowest price or the best service. Don't just go to the first place you see it and buy it. Say I'm looking for a new iPod for my wife this, right. this holiday season. Give us the Donnie Lichtenstein uh, shopping st strategic shopping plan to, to get that to, per to make that purchase. Yeah, the first thing I do is go online and look at shopping bo use shopping bots. Uh, there are several shopping bots, uh, shopping.com, bizrate.com, where you just type in what it is that you are the product you're looking for, and you use more than one because the the merchants sign up differentially with these shopping bots. I also compare prices locally. Now, there is some value to me to buy locally for multiple reasons. I get it more quickly. Secondly, I support local merchants, which is worth something to me. But I always want to know what it is I'm paying to support that local merchant because if it passes a certain amount, I'm going to say, no, I'm going to buy it online. Great. Um, and as most people say, well, I, I, I guess the economists are saying we're moving out of the recession, but for most of us, we're still in a recession. And... How has that changed the way people shop, or, or has it changed? Yeah, well, it, it's changed the psyche quite a bit. Uh, there, there's a, there are a number of things going on right now about shopping and, and how, what the consumer psyche is and what how merchants are behaving in response. Um, right now, you're seeing consumer confidence rise a little bit. You're seeing um, in October, year-over-year uh, year gains in, in some stores. The market from its low back in the 6,000s, it's over 10,000 right now, and that's created some psychic, in even for people who aren't taking the money out, it's created some psychic income where they're a little bit more comfortable to come back into the market, but they've got one foot in the water and one foot out. So um, where you're seeing the downturns mainly are in the uh, stores that are catering to the teenage market because a lot of those jobs have gone and the teenagers just don't have the discretionary money. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch right now is is uh, had uh, a big decline in sales, so you're seeing some stores doing uh, doing well both at the low end, the Costco Costco's doing well, and at the high end Nordstrom's has has come back a little bit, but it's fragile. It's the consumer psyche right now is very fragile.